Hey guys, it's Chris from Hockey Tutorial, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at things that you need to have inside your hockey bag. Doesn't matter what level you play or where in the world you play, these are going to be some recommended things that any hockey player of any age or skill level should have inside their bag at all times. Let's take a look. So first and foremost is going to be tape. Don't be that player that's forever asking for tape, whether it's white tape or black tape for your stick, or if it's leg tape, make sure that you have some of this inside your bag. It's pretty straightforward, definitely going to be the most basic one to make sure that you have inside your bag at all times. From there, depending on if you play with a cage or a visor, a cloth that's dedicated to wiping your visor is definitely going to be suggested. That's because if you use you know, a variety of different things, um, it means that you're not really having anything dedicated to clean your visor with, and visors can be quite expensive. And last thing you want to do is use something to clean it uh, that's going to end up scratching the visor. So having a little simple cloth inside your bag for it is definitely going to be recommended. Straight off at the back of that is going to be visor cleaners, defoggers, or um, anti-mist is basically things to keep your visor clean. Uh, we have a couple of a &R products over here, which is going to be the uh, Fog Guard and also the Hockey Spit, and also some Hey Duke products as well for um, basically making sure that your visor stays clean. These are some of our favorite ones that we've used previously. So again, if you use a visor, definitely going to be recommended. Now, if you don't use a visor and you use a cage, one thing I'd definitely suggest that you have is going to be the cage assembly kit. Now, of course, this isn't for putting your cage onto your helmet, because if you buy a helmet with a cage, it'll already be done. Or if you buy a cage, you'll get all of the accessories with it. But this is basically backups of those accessories. So the buttons, the clips, the screws that go into the cage to make sure that it's secure and protective, uh, you get backups inside this uh, cage assembly kit over here. Now, the last thing you want to do is turn up to tryouts or an, a very important game with your team and you know basically not be allowed to play i don't know what it's like in some of the other countries but in the uk if your cage or your helmet isn't up to par if you're missing a chin strap or you know the button or clips aren't secured properly or some screws are missing depending on where they are you can get kicked out of the game and prevented from playing until you either replace the helmet and cage or get them repaired so having one of these inside your bag is going to be so easy and it's going to save you a lot of hassle if anything happens and you need to fix things on the fly. Again, right off of the back of that is going to be some ear slings. These are pretty straightforward. These things do tend to be very, very durable, but if one um, breaks or gets cut, make sure you have some backups in there. The great thing about all of these accessories is none of them are expensive. They're all very, very low costing accessories and they can get us out of some pretty hot water while we're on the ice. Of course, for helmets, another one is going to be your helmet uh, hardware kit. This is just going to be, again, a bunch of clips, screws uh, that often fall out of helmets after we've used them for a while, or just general things that um, get uh, beaten up through the, the general wear and tear of, of playing the game. So these are definitely going to be another thing to have inside your hockey bag, because if anything breaks or needs to be replaced, you have it right there and you can do it um, anytime you need to. Now from there, one of the ones that's definitely going to be underutilized, uh, very ignored that a lot of players, pretty much every single player should have, is going to be a backup chin strap. This is probably going to be one of those underutilized things. We don't really think about how important these are. I know a lot of players that play without their chin straps even done up, but you need to remember that if this thing isn't round your chin and secured properly to your helmet, it, you could be putting yourself um, at risk of getting pretty bad head injuries if you get hit on the ice, especially if you play um, contact or checking hockey. Um, even if you don't, hockey is a physical sport, so making sure that your head is safe, which is going to be the most vulnerable part and um, probably the most hazardous part of your body to get hit, it's definitely worthwhile to have one of these spare chin straps because even if you get a good quality helmet, some of the uh, attachments and buttons that clip the chin straps together, as you can see here, they can get beaten up over time, they can corrode and rust, which basically makes them lose their integrity, so they might not fasten or adjust or even clip properly. So it's a really, really easy thing to have inside your bag that's going to get you out of hot water and make sure that you're not only safe, but also it gives you a bit more confidence because you know that if anything goes wrong with your equipment, you're able to fix it on the fly. From there, a variation of some of these uh, helmet hardware kits is going to be the helmet repair kit. It's going to have, again, all of those necessary clips, screws that we sometimes lose or that get broken, but they come in this nice handy little case, and it also comes with a mini little screwdriver inside there, which is pretty sweet because you're able to keep all of the screws um, neatly kept inside there, so everything's organized and easy to find. Uh, of course, these kits are good as well, but they come in these plastic bags, so once you open it, it can be a pain to keep closed. So the helmet repair kit's definitely gonna be a good option moving forward if you like to be organized and know where all of your stuff is. And I'm sure if your coach sees that, they're gonna give you some props for being nice and organized. Who doesn't like an organized hockey player? 
Another fairly straightforward one is going to be laces. I can't tell you the amount of times that I myself have blown out laces. Uh, the ends of the laces puff out, which makes them very difficult to put through the eyelets of your skates. Uh, it can just make things, you know, unnecessarily lengthy while you're trying to get ready and messing around with laces, trying to get them fixed. Or you might even cut a lace on the ice in case they uh, get undone and you step on them with your, with your blades while you're on the ice. So having some backup laces inside your bag, again, low cost, really easy, keeps you organized and just allows you to focus on the game. So again, this is a great one to have inside your bag. Another one is going to be power foot. Now what these are are inserts that go into your skates. Uh, they sit above your toes inside the toe box of the skates. And what they do is they reduce any negative space inside the skate. So not only are they incredibly comfortable to use while you're on the ice, but because they eliminate that negative space, you're able to get better stride efficiency, power. It's definitely something that I'd recommend. We've done a full review on these quite some time ago. So if you wanna see the video for this, we'll link it at the end. It'll also be down below in the video description, but these things are phenomenal. Great comfort and they do improve your performance on the ice. So this is definitely gonna be one that we recommend. These particular ones over here are for junior players, but they also make them for seniors. So get power foot. This is definitely gonna be one for every hockey player to have inside their bags. Last but not least is gonna be the Tape Tiger. Now, this thing is not new by any means. It's been around for a very long time, but I have only just recently found this. It's phenomenal. It's for removing old tape from your hockey stick. It works on the blade of the stick and also on the butt end of the stick. So you're able to cut away the tape in literally seconds. Instead of having to spend a few minutes untaping your stick, whether that's 10, 15 minutes to get it done if the tape is old and really stuck on there, you can get it done in probably about three or four seconds with this thing. So I'm really impressed with this thing. I think every hockey player should definitely have one of these in their bags. Um, it just makes things easy, convenient, and who doesn't want to make things more efficient and convenient before they get onto the ice. As always, a big thank you for watching this video. Massive thank you goes out to Blue Line Sports for providing all of the accessories that were featured in this video. If you're watching from the United Kingdom, all of the accessories that we've shown you in this video will be available from any good UK hockey retailer. If they don't have it, Get on the phone to them, get tweeting at them, let them know that Blue Line Sports have them available and make sure that they make them available to you. Aside from that, HT Swag is now available. We have hats, t-shirts, hoodies, zip hoodies. The link will be below in the video description so you can pick some up. If you've been watching what we've been doing for a while and you like it, show your support by rocking some HT Swag. Big thank you. Hit the subscribe button down below. Watch the videos along the sides and take care till next time. But before we go, Hockey Tutorial Swag, link below. Subscribe and thank you. Saucer tosses, some targets from Bauer, a couple of drones. Let's see what we can get up to.